Catherine Pettit was born February 23, 1868, in Fayette County, Kentucky. She was the daughter of Benjamin F. and Clara Mason Pettit. She was educated and attended Sayers School in Lexington from 1885 to 1887. During the summer of 1899 and 1901, Catherine and her co-worker Mae Stone taught summer school in Eastern Kentucky schools around Hazard and Hindman. The following year, they opened Hindman Settlement School, located in Knott County. In 1913, Pettit left Hindman and started Pine Mountain Settlement School in Harlan County. Throughout her years, Pettit was involved in the women's suffrage movement. She helped educate her students in the movement and was even elected to the public school trustees in Harlan County. She was a great teacher who showed enthusiasm, passion, and energy for her students. She focused on outdoor construction and farming activities, while Ethel DeLong fundraised and handled academics. Pine Mountain Settlement School helped promote the Appalachian culture through music, crafts, and education. Pine Mountain Settlement School is still open today. Pettit retired from the school in 1930 and went to promote other conservation and farming techniques in eastern Kentucky. She died of cancer on September 3, 1936, and is buried in Lexington. In 1946, the Catherine Pettit Book of Vegetable Dyes was published. Hope you've enjoyed learning about Catherine Pettit. She was a pioneer for education in eastern Kentucky. Her passion for her students helped create an institution that is still used today. She accomplished many things that were not mentioned in this video. I encourage you to go to pinemountainsettlement.net to find out more about her life. She should be known as a great Kentuckian, so help spread the word about her inspirational deeds. Don't forget to try out audibletrial.com slash kyhistorypod to get a free book of your choosing. If you'd like to support the channel, check out our Patreon page at patreon.com slash kyhistorypod. Or you can become a member of our YouTube channel. Like, subscribe, and hit the notification button to get more Kentucky history content. Find us on these social media platforms. And check out the Kentucky History Podcast on these podcast platforms for more in-depth history of Kentucky. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.